right, well, welcome back. You're just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Clico Suave? Clico Suave. Suave. <laughs> that's, that's my new name for 2019. Right, in case you're just tuning in, we just did a National Champagne Day yes, right. segment, and we were trying to pronounce some popular champagne brands. One of them was Verve Clico. Verve. And so we're saying how fancy it is, so that is now Jason's new name, Clico Suave. That's it. That's my uh, name. Uh, Get used to it. It rolls off the tongue. It does. I can't wait to be uh, announced as this when I enter rooms. I like it. We'll have to we'll have to work on that for 2019. <laughs> All right. Well, you are just in time for one of our favorite segments besides the National Champagne segment. That's right. Today. Which was good. It's time for. Are you ready? I'm. Re oh my gosh. Come on, Clico. Oh man, Clico's <laughs> got to wake up. Here we go. It's, it's time, time for hot, hot topics. topics. <laughs> Okay, well, of course, no big surprises here. Aquaman making a big splash in the box of office, making yes. $51.6 million in its second, second weekend. weekend. Now, crazy. surprising or not, the number is actually down from the first weekend, which totally makes sense, but yeah. still kicking butt in the box office totally. this weekend. Domestically, it's gross one hundred and. $88.8 million. So wow. by far the best showing of the holiday season. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet, but I know you have. I can't yes. wait to see it. I'm yes, very good. Don't forget stay after the credits. That's right. That's just kind of a little tidbit for you guys at home to so stay after the credits. It's a little surprise. I love it. So coming in at the number two spot, Mary mm. Poppins Returns. Yeah. Yeah, no surprises there. That brought in about $28 million um, over the weekend. Um, in the third spot, Bumblebee. Bumblebee, of Transformers course. Transformers move. That's the Transformers spinoff that earned $20.5 million. And then rounding out the top five, we've got Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Clint Eastwood's The, the Mule. Mule. Yeah. So it's nice. So across the board, you've got family movies. Yes. If, you know, if you're an adult and you just kind of want some alone time, you've got a movie for that. So you've got a movie for everyone right here at the box office. I know. I love it. And so over the weekend, my uncle and aunt were going to the movies and I was like, she was, uh, my aunt was like, we haven't seen a movie in 20 years. And I was like, that is really? crazy. The movie that got them to go to the movies was Clint Eastwood going to see the mule. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. It looks good too. Hey, a lucky winner could kick off the new year with a bang by putting Ooh. millions of dollars in their pocket. So nobody won the jackpot in Mega Millions Lottery drawing Friday night. So the big price for the next drawing on New Year's Day has soared to a whopping $415 million. Cray cray. With a cash option at about 249 mm -hmm. million bucks, the lottery hasn't had a big winner since its one and a half <laughs> billion dollar jackpot back in October. Yeah, and I saw that they're still waiting for somebody to come forward. Like they knew that they sold a winning ticket, but they're still waiting for that person to come <sighs> forward. Again, I just want to make a plea for my family member that <laughs> yes. I love you. Let's reconnect. <laughs> yes, and if it's my family members out there who, uh, you know, maybe it slipped down in the crack of the car when you find that lottery ticket, I'm still here. Right. <laughs> I'm still Mail here. it to me. We'll, yes. we'll claim it. No big yeah, deal. No big All deal. right. Well, some memories of 2018 you may want to forget, and some folks in New York actually had the chance to do that. So, of course, Times Square, very popular for New Year's Eve. But over the weekend, some people got to do what's called Good Riddance Day. Good Riddance Day. I didn't know that I that was a it. thing. So they met up in Times Square. They got to write down things that they kind of wanted to get rid of, including exes, you know, maybe it's some bills that you were able to pay off, anything that you wanted to say goodbye to in 2018. They were given bye -bye. an hour to kind of write things up and throw them through a shredder. Yeah. So this is an interesting event. It's actually based on um, in Latin culture. Um, what I they used it. to do is put kind of some bad memories in a doll and burn up the doll. Yeah. But this is a safe way. They're gone. Put it in a shredder. Gone. That's the point. They're gone, yes, right? Yes. Good love that. riddance to all of those things <laughs> being absolutely destroyed. Yes. Uh, I love it. Yes. All right. And I think we're able to take a look at Christmas. Not Christmas. Good night. New Year's. <laughs> good night, nurse. Yes. From around the world. That's right. Cause we're still waiting here, obviously, to ring in 2019 in the U.S. But there are cities across the world that are already saying happy. Happy New, Happy Year. New Year! Here's a look at celebrations in Sydney as the Aussies ring in the new year. Thousands, of course, enjoy the beautiful fireworks show as the clock struck midnight. Nice. Australia, one of the first areas of the world to ring in the new year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Very it makes sense. Enough. I mean, yeah. if you think about, you know, sun rising and all kinds of things with, you know, physics and uh -huh. planets and yep. space. Clico, it, I totally. think you're making things up now. Clico Suave. <laughs> well, 